Hello and welcome back to Sky Bees. We are uh, continuing pretty much where we left off last time. Uh, where are we at here? So <laughs> uh, we've got every single quest line done except for Dimensions, Monster, and Applied Energetics. And to get to the Mining Dimension, we actually have to start Applied Energetics to get the Engineering Processor. So we need two of those. So, I guess this is the best time as any to go ahead and start Applied Energetics. Uh, we have a few parts already done uh, from trying to make the inscriber and I think the machine casing. Uh, so we need to make the rest of the presses and stuff. So what we're going to do is we're going to work our way through Applied Energetics until we can make the uh, dimensional uh, teleporter. And we're going to go do that and then we'll continue uh, that. So. I have a uh, inscriber set up already, and I have a bunch of stuff in it already. Uh, so let's see here. We need to make, which one is it? The engineering processor, which is a printed engineering circuit. We need an inscriber engineering press, which is crafted in this one. It's steel plus charged and dust okay do we have any charge yes we do uh do we have dust and we do have dust and do we have steel i say we do we have any steel but i, I know we have steel uh and i've been trying to get every item that i can added to my uh, little system over there and then those have not turned yet so to get further into that, we need the uh, seeds to actually turn. So, all right, this was in what table was this thing in? There we go. It is in the basic crafting table, this one, which has no power. Okay. I don't know sure where I can put a power cable at on this thing. Ah, uh, let's go down. Let's go down here. Uh, there we go. There's all the machines. Do we have points? All right, let's just put points on this stuff. I did. I haven't made any. Uh, I haven't made made any of uh, power cables for anything. Just because there's uh, real, no real point at this point. And get those all connected. And for some reason I got a zombie that keeps uh, spawning down here. And I don't know where he's coming from. There's a creeper over there. I don't want to mess with that. Alright. Uh, so is this one. There we go. We need... Calculation press and an engineering press and I think a logic press. It's weird how it's like giving it to me quick and probably a calculation one too, right? So we got calculation, engineering, logic, we got two calculation, silicon. Perfect. So we should have all those. Did that complete this? Yeah, so we have all the presses. Perfect. So now we can go over here. Put the silicon press in with a diamond, I think. No, it's not a diamond. Uh, this one. Oh, is this one here. So it's an engineering plus a diamond. All right, engineering plus a diamond, and then I do already have it powered. We're going to do all these manually, uh, and then we're going to uh, go ahead and put them in the uh, system. Okay, I can't do that one. So let's go put this in the system. Because we I don't want to sit there and, like I had to do for refined storage. And Applied Energetics is like... A newer version, like uh, the it's like 
they were going in a different direction with uh, applied energetics and the guys who made refined storage were like we don't like that <laughs> so they kind of kept it like the original uh, uh, applied energetics from what I can grasp out of that all right let's just get a stack of those So, this should let us make the uh, engineering thing. Let's try that real quick. Uh, the mining dimension. So, this is a complex craft, right? It's uh, four ultimate controls, four dimensional shards. You get uh, dimensional shards, you can get those in the end or you can craft them. One heavy engineering block from immersive engineering, one light, and one redstone engineering block. Two advanced processors. Uh, four blocks of nitro crystals. Uh, two uh, another star blocks. Two netherite picks. A teleporter and uh, the two uh, engineering processors we just made. And a flux box <laughs> block. It's quite the uh, advanced uh, craft, if you I must say. And there we go. Dimensional teleporter. So we have that now. I don't know how it works. Uh, maybe we just pop it down. Uh, I don't really want to go into it right now, do I? Here, let's do this. Uh, can we move these all down? There we go. All right, we should be fine if we go in there. There we go. We just right click. And we completed the dimension for, uh, I mean, the quest for dimensions. So there we go. So this is just like a uh, normal world, I guess. Oh, stalactites. Stagmites. So, oh, wow, this is pretty cool. I mean, I don't think there's any ore that we could get out of here, right? Ossium ore. Copper, and then we're gonna have to fight mobs. Let's get our sword out. But it's just, and it's all lit up because I have night vision on my uh, helmet. I think it would be dark normally. It's just a big old cave system, I guess, with uh, tons of stuff you can mine. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. I guess uh, that would have been, I think that would have been helpful early on, but I don't know what I would do with it now. I mean, here, let's try. Yeah, I mean, lots of cobblestone, more copper, tin. So, I mean, this is a lot of the ore. And this ore can be doubled because it's uh, the actual ore. So, that's something we could do. But for the most part, none of this is useful to us at this point, unless there's something here that we can't get anywhere else, but I'm not seeing anything like that so far. Oh, what's that? Uranium. What is that? Marble? So it's just like every material, I guess, that you can get in the pack. Try not... I don't want to break my pick. There's no way to unbra get unbreaking, I guess, or unbreakable. And then there is a urinite. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. Just a neat little uh, place you can go. Let's just go back. There we go. I mean, I don't need any any of those materials, so that's kind of no point in that right now. Okay, so let's go back over here to our chest. Let's grab all that uh, stuff we had going on. And let's put all these mob things. This is for the last uh, part. I've, went around, I've been going around capturing all the different mobs required for uh, for this achievement. I got everything except for the witch and the ender dragon and the wither uh, to try to get all those done. But uh, that's that's another episode. All right. So where are we at in this applied energetics? We got that one done. We need the drive. So the drive requires... Okay, we can make the drive, I think. 
So let's make some fluid uh, glass. Quartz fiber. All right, so let's grab, we have one fiber. We're gonna, let's get some of this stuff out of our bag. We're gonna kind of like put it all in the system as we go, just so that uh, things are faster, right? So pot that in there, and then we shouldn't have to ever craft this stuff again. There we go. So let's go here. And the drive was cable, so we'll grab a cable. Pop cable in there. Pop it over here. And then drive. Why is that not <laughs> why is that not a thing? Oh, it goes into the basic crafter. Uh so let's can we take all this out? That's kind of weird that it's in that crafter and not uh not the main one. Okay, so this is the basic crafter. Pop that in there. Boom, we have the ME drive. Uh let's build our ME system over here. Let's just put the drive down first. Okay, so the drive is done. What is next? Uh, we could go into drive size, slightly different ones. Uh, can we make this? I think we could make this. Uh, we need a logic processor, which is logic plus gold. So I'll take a stack of gold. We'll go over here to the inscriber. We need a logic. And we need gold. Let's make two of those so I can go put one in the system. All right, so we got those two. And we can take one of these. It'll go in here. That'll go there. And redstone goes in the middle. And I put that back in the bag. There we go. Now we can go put these over in the, uh, the drawers. So we'll have those available. Because we're going to have to make some large drives, kind of like we did in the other one. I don't think quite as large, but it's uh, still... A lot of the same same crafting over and over again. We're asking, oh, that's too many of those. Uh, let's drop those back there. And do I have more drawers? Yes, I do. So let's make some more drawers real quick. And this is what this is what I've been doing. I just drop drawers down. I go through and I lock them all. And then I like I like to see the quantity on each drawer, so I do that. And then I take the unlimited ones and I just walk up the drive and then they're all set. I can just put everything back in. Good to go. Alright. So where were we? Here uh we're making the one K. So we have that. We need redstone. We need just a charged. So let's get some charged. And we can make two billion of that. Don't need that dust. Okay, so we need to go to the honey dissolution chamber. There was a creeper around here. There he is. I have no idea where they're spawning. I've flown all over this place trying to figure it out, but... No luck. Okay, that's the latex one. Is this one the honey one? This one is the honey one. Okay. So we, all we have to do is actually change that. And these four here. Oh, I have the recipe locked. Oh, I just kind of constantly feed it. All right, that probably broke all kinds of things, but that's worth it. All right, take those out. 
put that in with that up there. Oh, I have the, oh no, I have the right ones. And it's this way. And we just need a point. Get those crafting because I I just use points instead of cables. Uh, I don't know if there's a downside to that, but it seems to be the uh, best way to do it for me. All right, this should give us the one k. There we go. We only need one of those because we can go uh, dupli duplicate it right over here. Go, we already have two billion of those. Perfect. And we'll put that right there. Okay. So next on our crafting agenda is 4K, 16K, and 64K. So we got the 1K, now the 4K. Needs a calculation processor. Which is a pure Certus Crystal. I don't think I have that. We have a pure Fluix Crystal. Drop Quartz Seed made from sand. Okay, so I have these crafting over here in this puddle of water. Uh, yeah, they're not, they're not done yet. They're at 59%, so let's just drop those back in the water. Alright, so we'll skip that for now. We'll come back to that. Crystal Growth Accelerator. That looks easy. That was this thing. A Fluix Blocks. Fluix Block, that is. There we go. Crystal, crystal Growth Accelerator. We can, uh, we can actually put that like right there, right? And then uh, put a point on it, maybe? Or not? Slice is offline. Alright, well, I don't know how to power that since it didn't seem to take the power. Maybe it's the top. Some of these things, there, that's so weird. I think it has to have, uh, it has to have power from the controller, so we'll have to come back to that. All right, so we have that. The ME controller looks like, I think we can do that, right? Can we make more engineering processors? Yes, we can. Okay, so the ME controller is all of those items in what, a yellow table? So we're missing Skystone block. Steel plate. All right, we're missing everything. Uh, so here we'll do this. Let's grab that. Grab that. So we need more uh, pure fluix. Oh, this is not in our system. So we go put that over there real quick. All right, let's uh, drop those in there. Drop those. Drop those. A more skystone block, I think it was. More steel plate. So eventually we'll have all the stuff. Then we need a machine casing and more of those. Okay, that's easy enough. More of these and machine casing. Got those on the take. There we go. Perfect. We have a ME controller, we got the advancement for that, and let's go ahead and put it right there. And then we need to get power to the controller, if I'm not mistaken yet. Uh, 
That is so cool. The the ME controller, the Applied Energetics controller, looks so much cooler than the other one. I mean, they have like the same graphic and all that, but it looks cooler. All right, so we have uh, the controller. Can we make this one? Looks like we cannot make this one because we don't have the Fluix crystal. So we'll have to wait on that. Energy cell. Looks like we can do an energy cell. So here's energy cell. Make one of those. Pop it in there. There we go. And then we can go right here to the dense energy cell. Uh, we can't make that one. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Everything requires that, that crystal, and we're not there yet. So this one, we don't have these. So we could make those, though. So annihilate formation core. Make that. Annihilation core. Make that. Drop those in there. Put those into our system. And then, so we got that made, that made, that made, that. Okay, we got the export bus. So where's, where's that start? Because I skipped one, right? Oh yeah, okay. So we need to make the interface. Interface goes in there. Drop it up there. The interface done, we can do the import bus. Come on, why is that sticky not cast crafting? There we go. So we should probably make some room for all this junk. Here, let's get some of this stuff out of here. Because we're uh, running out of space. Don't need these on us. Need these. Uh, I don't need two of those. Those are going to be the only thing we'll need. We don't need an exporter. We have the export bus and the import bus. Okay. So now what do we need? We need a storage bus, which is pretty much what we already made. Which is a, a sticky piston, which I guess I did not have, I don't have a recipe for that. So piston, we'll make a stack of pistons. Stack of sticky pistons. I guess another stack of Pistons. Okay, so make the storage bus. Make the export bus. We already had those anyway. So that completes that line. Pretty simple stuff. We'll try to put all this together here in a little bit once we have everything uh, kind of made out. All right, so the terminal. Make uh, like those. What am I missing there? All right, so those aren't in the system. Uh, these probably aren't in the system either. Let's put these in there. Export bus. We're going to need all of these. Probably. I don't know how far I'll make, how big of a system I'll make. Okay, and then I think this was one more thing. Let's get some more drawers. Right. So we just drop these down. Get these all created up. Really makes things so much easier having a creative uh, drawer withdrawal. And I like to see the quantity, so I go ahead and click this on everything. I wish it was like one key to do both. 
pull things, but whatever. All right, there we go. And I believe I did the input bus, right? Yeah, so that can go, those can go in the system. So we need an ME terminal. If we didn't already make one of those, we're gonna need a pattern terminal, which may require a crafting terminal, which we can't make because of that. Uh, see here, storage housing. That's gonna be a pain. So we made that and that. Cable anchor. There we go, we got the cable anchor. I'm never gonna use those. A fluid import bus. A fluid storage bus. Oh, we need a fluid interface before we can do that. So we don't have green dye in our system, so let's make that a thing. Along with uh, this one and do we already have that in the system? Yeah, we already have those. All right, we can go up another layer here. So I think it was the interface we we're making. That interface can now go there. And I don't pre-put the uh, the chests in the thing because I have items that are constantly coming into the system and they just randomly fill up the things. And it seems to happen even if they're locked, so it's just not worth the effort. All right, there's that one. That one. That one. That should take care of the fluid line. Oh, we need an export bus and a fluid terminal. So fluid terminal and export bus. All right, that's all done. So we need, let's get all those turned out. So we know kind of where we're headed with this. So there's a cable, smart cable. Oh. Let's make two of these because I think we're going to need another one. Dense cable. What is this dense cable missing? Dense covered cable. All right, so I don't know what... uh what I need for that. So let's put these in there because they're like all the cables build upon each other. So save it some time. Dense smart cable, which requires the dense covered cable, which is four of those. So we need, just need one of those. All right. So that makes sense. There we go, and put those up there. I see one spot where something could spawn. That should knock out all of those. We have gold processors. We have diamond processors. All right, where are we at? Crafting terminal requires the blue processor. Okay, we can do this one, which is the ME interface. Got one of those. Let's drop it in a table. Drop the fluid stuff in here too. What is this one? That's just a standard terminal. Can go ahead and just throw that in the system. Oh, right. There we go. And we'll just drop all these up here. Okay, so we're we're going through this as fast as possible, honestly. Uh 
don't really need much from it. Can't do that yet. Can't do that one yet. Can't do that one. We can do that, but we'll wait on that one. A molecular assembler, we can make that. Uh, I don't think I have it on my thing here. Molecular assembler, which needs a crafting table crafted. Got that. And the... You can get credit for that one, why not? Oh, we need to make a crafting crow processor. And we can't make a crafting unit because we don't have the wrong one. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Can we make that? No. Um, what can we make? So we can need the pattern terminal. Oh, we can make the pattern terminal. That's for easy. Never mind, we can't. <laughs> uh, I think we're at that point where we can't progress this any further. And I think that's probably a good stopping point, actually for uh, right now what we'll do is uh I'm, I'm time gated right by this thing right here completing it was like 60 percent uh it's gonna take a little while to uh progress i'm gonna try moving this see if i can activate it over here so let's put our controller down right there that there drive like right there And then, uh, what was it, cable? Dense smart cable, there we go. This is like the most expensive cable you can make for this mod. Uh, it doesn't seem to take power from this at all. There we go. Power comes in on the bottom, it is online. It's got this weird, uh special effect let's put it right there all right we'll just let that go um we'll let this go through the uh little a few hours <laughs> see if it uh, actually gets these things to grow i don't know if it can reach them but uh yeah and then we'll come back next time and we will uh finish up a2 and uh i will uh probably start killing monsters uh i have eggs or not eggs but uh what are these things called mob imprisonments for every single one of them except for the witch which i haven't been able to find and the ender dragon and the wither so we'll have to build another wither proof box and then we'll have to go to the end and kill ender dragons 20 times <laughs> and then we'll be done so uh maybe one or two more episodes i'm not sure how long it'll go but one or two more and then we're uh, done with Skybees. So uh, thank you for watching and have a great day.